Gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the stomach and small intestine, often resulting in increased bowel movements, fever, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Most cases are acute, lasting fewer than 14 days, but chronic cases can extend over 30 days. The primary causes include bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites, with viruses being the most common culprits. Transmission usually occurs via the fecal-oral route or contaminated food or water, but can also have an airborne route, the common bacterial agents in the U.S are Salmonella and Campylobacter, while rotavirus and norovirus are common viral causes. High-risk populations include the immunocompromised, very young, elderly, and those with chronic diseases who are more susceptible to dehydration. Risk factors include consuming improperly prepared food, close-quarter living environments like daycares, nursing homes, or cruise ships, and travel to developing countries. Pathophysiologically, gastroenteritis disrupts normal fluid absorption in the small intestine due to inflammation. Toxins from pathogens can cause the intestinal lining to secrete fluid, leading to the characteristic watery diarrhea. Common signs and symptoms of gastroenteritis appear suddenly and typically resolve within one to three days, including diarrhea which may contain blood depending on the causative organism, nausea, vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain. Nurses assess for dehydration, indicated by dry mucous membranes, changes in mental status, elevated heart rate, decreased blood pressure, and poor skin turgor. Diagnostic tests for gastroenteritis include a complete blood count, metabolic panel, and stool testing. ECBC may reveal elevated white blood cells, especially with bacterial infections. A metabolic panel might show elevated bun and creatinine due to dehydration, along with potential electrolyte imbalances resulting from diarrhea and vomiting. Stool tests may be ordered to identify specific pathogens and check for ova, parasites, and white blood cells. Treatment of gastroenteritis focuses on preventing and treating dehydration managing diarrhea and ensuring proper nutrition and skin care. Antiemetics like ondansetron or metoclopramide may be prescribed for nausea and vomiting, while fluid and electrolyte supplementation are critical. Antibiotics are reserved for C. difficile or severe bacterial infections, especially in high-risk patients or those with specific symptoms like bloody stools. Hospitalization may be required for clients with H. severe dehydration, uncontrollable vomiting, significant electrolyte disturbances, abdominal pain, or pregnancy. Nursing interventions include routine assessment of vital signs, fluid intake and output, and signs of dehydration. IV fluids, antiemetics, and electrolytes are administered as prescribed. Proper infection control measures, including contact and droplet precautions, are essential, especially in cases of norovirus. Patient education emphasizes good hand hygiene to prevent spread of infection, adhering to a bland diet during symptomatic periods, safe food preparation, and vaccinations such as rotavirus for children. Interventions are evaluated to determine if the expected outcomes are met and care plans are adjusted accordingly.